Asana has finally updated how we use templates within the platform. Gone are the days where we have to store projects and add assignees inside of our template team. They've got a new update. It's their projects 2.0. I'm going to walk you through it today. Welcome to Asana Solutions, the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to process improvement, project management, and of course, Asana. My name is Mark He and I'm your host. And you heard it right, finally, finally Asana has released a version two to their project templates. You know, if you've been using Asana for a long time now, then you know that creating templates is pretty straightforward, but it's the actual housing and populating of information that can take some time. And so what I'm gonna show you today is what the Projects 2.0 looks like, how they've increased um, the usability of the tool, how they've increased access to the tool when it comes to edit rights and who can see it. And there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that I'm sure you're gonna want to check out. So let's jump in. All right, so if you're like me, you probably had you know, a team on the, the dashboard here, you named it templates, and then you had all your different you know, project templates within that. And what was nice about that, I guess, is that they were like tucked away, but what it didn't help with is that if we had any, you know, tasks that needed to have an assignee, you know, we would have to assign them to that person in that template. And that was fine for a little bit until you have all of these tasks in a template that are now living in your tasks. So then the, the workaround was, all right, let's go and let's complete all of these, right? We'll convert it to our template, right? And then, when the template is recreated or when the project is created from the template, we can now highlight all these and incomplete them all. Uh, wrong one. We can incomplete them all and then they're all assigned <clears throat> to that person, right? But we don't have to do that any longer because this update changes how templates are used and how they're viewed and stored. So if we go to our team here, I'm just gonna create a new project. I'm just gonna call it template it's gonna be a board there we go um, yeah that's fine I'm just gonna keep it like this and doesn't matter what we do to this let's do you know task two task three just for fun let's add some custom fields I don't even know what we have in here let's see what's in the library um, editor and order type there we go so now we have some custom fields in here, there they are. If we want to add in a task template, let's do that as well. Let's just add in one template, new task. There we go. We're going to add some collaborators. Um, there we go. Perfect. Maybe set a relative due date, you know, seven days in the future. And then I'm going to assign that to myself. There we go. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. So now what we can do is when we go and we create a template, we're going to drop this down, save as template. So this is going to be template, uh, template. Perfect. You know, and now we can set privacy from this, from this level. So anyone in this team can edit or we can make it so that anyone in this team can use it. If you um, are an admin or if this is like a, a template that you don't want to be adjusted, you can lock these permissions down now. So let's go create that template. There we go. It's populating. And while it's doing that, I'm actually going to go and configure some settings. So now we can have this template here and we can you know, rename the name of the template and we can say this is a template. Use it to create projects from templates. There we go, right? So that's our description. We can change the privacy here again if we did want to. If if we did select anyone on the team can use, but we wanted to have a few people that could actually edit this, then we'd want to add them down here. Uh, not me, obviously. There we go, right? We can invite those members. And so now I'm the owner of it. If I wanted to change the owner, I can change the owner right there. And now I can edit it. If I want to change permissions to edit, there we go. So now everyone that I've added can edit, but everyone else on the team can only use it. Now, I, I share this in another video, but I'm excited about this right here because now for the first time, we can automatically add projects that are created from a template and add them to a specific portfolio. So I'm just gonna pull in um, portfolios that I wanna add this to. 
right? So it's gonna go into our active projects portfolio automatically when this is created. We can click on add. Now, before we hit done, I'm gonna go back to our project content here because if we do need to make any updates, we can easily do that. We can come here, we can click on customize, we can add in more custom fields, we can add rules at this level as well. We can add in our forms, we can add another task template, we can edit the task template, we can do everything we want here. We can assign these to people and it's not gonna show up in their my tasks anymore. We can set relative due dates, right? So if we wanted this to be due in you know, 30 days from now, um, we can add all this information here in our template and now we click done. Now what's great is like I said, it doesn't actually show up anywhere that you know is visible or can be pulled in into any reports or anything like that. But now we have this new cool section in all of our in all of our team spaces called templates. And all the templates we have, they all live here. They're nice and tucked away. So let's go and find ours. If we did need to edit it, we can come in here, we can edit that template. I'm gonna star it so that it comes up to my favorites. I have too many favorites. Let's just go back down to it. There we go. So if we did want to edit it, we can come in here, we can edit or we can use this template. But now uh, we can just start a new project up, use a template and we can find it right here. There we go. Owned by Kate Penny, there's starred and I can edit it at this point or I can just simply use the template like so. And then it's going to populate that template for us. It's that simple. It's not going to take up any space. We're not going to see it in our my tasks anymore. It's automatically populating everything. There's our, our tasks that I created. <clears throat> it's assigned to me. Let's see if our, our task template is there. Yep. All right. There we go. It's being created. Let's see. It's added our collaborator to assign it to me and it should set a due date. Maybe I didn't set a due date. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I think it was seven days. Perfect. So there, it's all working. It's all set up. So I think this is a huge step forward for Asana and how we use templates. It uh, enables us to lock down permissions and make a lot of customizations. And it finally takes all of those tasks that we do need assignees on out of our My Tasks. So if you enjoyed this, or you think this would be helpful to someone else, please do me a favor and share this video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.